This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on the African Channel. The Kiffners have been here celebrating our seventh birthday with us. And man, it's always just such a party, such a vibe. How do you guys keep it up, man? The energy, the love for what you do, the creativity all the time. Actually, we're quite chilled in person. But um, you is know, this where your alter egos come out? Yeah, it's, um, it's more about sharing ideas that are worth sharing, you know. And um, I, I don't know if you follow the Kiffness on social media, but, you know, like, I'm very outspoken and I'm very, you know, passionate about sharing ideas that I think are worth sharing. You yeah. Know? Despite my reputation, despite what people think, because I get a lot of hate for what I say, but I also get a lot of love. So. Hey, man. You gotta have yeah. the haters too. You gotta have the haters you too. You gotta have the haters, man. But so then, because I mean, obviously that, that puts you in a very difficult position because you, you have things that you need to talk about that you want to talk about. So how do you, I guess, um, package those, uh, those ideas in ways that people can digest and where your message actually comes through? Because that's also an important part of being an ad activist or an advocate for something, right? Yeah, I think when you're dealing with serious matters, you gotta use, well, I use humor as my vehicle. Yeah, yeah. Um, it just makes it more digestible and easier for people to understand and it makes, you know, topics like white privilege sound less like a swear word and more like something that people can talk around, yeah, yeah. talk about at the dinner table. Yeah. Speaking about digestible topics, uh, the song Broccoli, I digged it, I like it a lot, <laughs> only to find out that it was just like a mess around between the two of you guys. Wait, so just take me through that session of, of what happened when the song Broccoli came around and why make a song about broccoli? Um, well, I'd made this beat, and just as an experiment, I thought, let me not write any lyrics down. Let me just sing the first thing that comes into my head. And Broccoli was the song. So it was just <laughs> like a complete stream of consciousness. No, like, um, pre-meditated uh, ideas. It was just straight. So I It's think also a hugely underrated vegetable. Yeah. Everyone should eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you know? I absolutely agree with yeah. you with that. It, that's what gives you, you know, that's how you get that ripness with the kiffness, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. just get that broccoli in. Um, it's so all over here. How, how do you deal, Raven, with, with this kind of energy coming your way uh, when you guys are making music? It's great. It's a wonderful form of expression. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also quite introverted, so hanging out with Dave, I managed to kind of do something I normally wouldn't do in real life and kind of excel and jump into my fantasies. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> we're all about just like laughing at the absurdity of our own existence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? and, and sometimes we need to do that just to kind of gain some sort of sanity, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah. It's a balance. W w have you guys collaborated with many people that have been in that space of energy and gone, yo, this is, this is other things now, man. This is other things. <laughs> well, yeah, like, um, we did a track with BCUC, which was amazing. Like, I personally learned a lot just from, you know, being in a studio with them and seeing them live. And I think when people from different cultures or races come together to create music, you know, it's an opportunity for interesting and beautiful things to happen. You yeah, know? yeah. And I think that's the, the great thing about music is that we can come from different backgrounds, but then, you know, create something beautiful. Yeah, dude, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Uh, yeah. Before you perform the song, I'm just going to ask the blatant question because everyone wants to know as well. White privilege is what the song is called. What yeah. are you trying to say about it? Uh, it's it's a double-edged sword. It's it's a dichotic song. So it talks about you know the serious issue of you know our history of being white people in South Africa and you know. You know, the shameful history. So I'm trying to kind of just stare my demons in the face and say, you know what, like this has happened, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm learning to accept it. But then the other side of it is more just like making fun of, of you know, our situation as white people, how a lot of us can't dance or we can't like rap or whatever. So just making fun yeah. of being white. You yeah, know? you forgot the jumping thing though, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well here they are on your Feel Good Breakfast Show, the Kipness with White Privilege. tuition fees and you have a lot of opportunities privilege whoa, 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 white privilege when you see a protest and like to complain while you tweet about it and drink champagne privilege whoa, 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 white privilege when you didn't have to deal with years of oppression but deny that you benefit from your complexion privilege whoa, 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 white privilege when you cry because your guilt is an issue 
issue But the skin's the same colour as your three ply tissue Privilege Wobble wobble white privilege As you try, you don't stand a chance. Disability, what, what, why? Disability. Call a cop to come on, it's your favorite song. It feels so right, but you look so wrong. Disability, what, what, why? Disability. You have all these real and crippling fears, but when you cry, they just call the white tears. Disability, what, what, why? Disability.